All I can say to you is there's a whole body of evidence. Admittedly, we need more research. There's a whole body of evidence and research about absent healing, remote healing, prayer healing, distant healing, call it what you will. We can call it prayer healing. It really doesn't matter. It depends on your spiritual persuasion. And I certainly don't want to bias anyone. I do want to say, though, and have an influence that in I've worked with hundreds of thousands of people. I've traveled the globe for the Silver Method, working with our team of instructors. Mickey, hi, Mickey, in St. Augustine. And all I can say is something's happening that we don't understand. If you look at the Institute of Noetic Sciences, IONS, their chief researcher, Dr. D uh, Douglas Dean. Dr. Dean wrote a book called Entangled Minds, and it's really a call out to the scientific community that, guys, fellow scientists, this is our job. If it keeps showing up, even though we don't understand, don't we owe it to the people we serve as scientists to understand this, to, to research it so we can help people? And that's not what this call is about. I'm just saying that for those of you who may be guests, this may be new to you. Um, I have people very close to my heart, some of the most important people on this planet to me, who I'm not sure where they stand with this. If they resonate, I mean, they resonate, and I know they love me and the, the work, and that's okay. All I can say is you make a difference. You make a difference more than you realize. If you're alive on this planet, you are projecting out an energy. It might be small, but think of it this way. As you interact with your family, as you interact with your community, it spreads like ripples in a pond. You ever throw a rock into a pond, you see how those ripples spread and they interact. Well, just magnify that from you to your family, to your community, your community within the community, and the community within your state, your nation, this globe. And we have, I can tell you that when the Silver Method was all by itself and we were pioneers, and of course there was transcendental meditation, so much of this work was looked at as woo-woo. And I can tell you, as one of those early instructors starting in 1971, when we were ostracized, people looked at you like, Ooh, and so on, because we were called mind control, silver mind control. Let me tell you, guys, we have reached critical mass. Have you noticed all the research and meditation? I mean, you'd have to be living, excuse me, I would say, straight out. You have to be living under a rock not to recognize the value, the benefits of meditation for your health, for your well-being. You have more energy. You think more clearly. It's good for your brain. It promotes neuroplasticity, which is a, our way of science's way of saying bouncing back, resilience, to deal with life's challenges, to get back on when you fall, because invariably we all slip and fall. We all get sucked into it. And one of the challenges today is it's very serious. And we're constantly reminded how serious, and here I am mentioning it. You got to manage that, because if you get too much of it, you get overwhelmed. And if you get overwhelmed, you feel helpless and hopeless. And if you start feeling helpless and hopeless, you can then go into a depression. And if you go into a depression, you feel like giving up. It's like, why bother? And then nothing. Hey, Bisma from Pakistan is in the house. I think you're in Pakistan now um, with your family. Her mom is... is um. Our instructor there, Husna, who is a delightful human being. Anyway, um, guys, and Goga and Turkey's boy Turk is really signing in. I hope you guys can understand me. You're graced with your presence. So, I wanted to open up and just really kind of shout out to you for caring enough for yourself. Yes, sometimes we have to watch mindless TV or just go for a walk, but you got to balance it. This is a time for us to prepare. This is a time for us to study. This is a time for us to take care of ourselves. Self-care is more important than ever. This is a time to boost our immune system. And going for a walk, drinking lots of fluids, proper supplementation, eating properly, reducing sugar in your diet, social interaction. Since we're social distancing, so at least do video calls. We did a video call on Zoom with our family, the children, grandchildren. It was so cool. It was so much fun. And I have my props, my mugs when they were first born, a little more recent. I look at these things the kid gave me. I'm sit I have a sitting on one of the pillows that's got all the kids' faces. You can't have props like that. You gotta keep the joy. Keep a balance of joy and happiness in your life. These are proven 
proven tools, resources to help support a healthy immune system. And I see more people. Hey, Nicole from Montreal. Bonjour, mademoiselle. So I know I shout out before, but I just feel obligated. In New York City, people at seven o'clock are clapping for the first responders, for the medical people who are really, really dealing with like never before. It, it's, it, it, it's, um, I don't have the words for it and I don't want to go there because it's not a happy moment. But the happy moment is people are rising to the occasion and there are people who are making deliveries, there are people who are delivering food, there are people helping out, there are people who are reaching out to people. Uh, I mean, celebrate it. Keep contact with people. Celebrate the people in your life. Colorado's in the house. Jane. Howdy, Jane. Um, but it's, it, it's so, so cool. And one of the things I wanted to do in this call before we went into the meditation was just acknowledge you in your presence. And we may not be there physically with each other, which as you know, I prefer, but we're here together, what, virtually at least, sharing our thoughts. And I can tell you this too. Again, this is, I don't have time to go into research, but there's a whole lot of research to support that when a community is synchronized together in mind, in spirit, even though we're at a distance, it makes a difference. And a simple way to look at that is whenever there's a new idea, we call them the trendsetters or the early adopters or the, the, the cool people. When I was a kid growing up, that was New York City, the, the, um, the village. And then all of a sudden, it reaches critical mass. More and more people hear about it, and then the cool people find something else. But the point is, ideas, when they're birthed, they're always met with resistance. And then as it spreads and as more and more people accept it, what? It reaches critical mass and it becomes common knowledge. And that's what we see happening in this field and this work about intuition. As you know, the Silver Method is primarily interested, our mission is to awaken the subjective faculties of intuition to help people understand and use it practically. Not to show off like, ooh, I'm psychic, you know, and how psychic, but to do this. Um, oh, thank you, Saskia. She's reminding me, we're physically distancing, not social distancing. Excellent point, thank you, thank you. We're retreating for wellness, not quarantine or lockdown, protecting our health, not isolating in choice. I'm gonna read this, not in fear, we're getting through this and we will get through this, yes. Karen from Chicago, hey, Karen, tools, gold, or somebody went so quick from Chicago and Jane I want to say hello to everybody. Glendale, New York, Eddie, baby. Danielle Laporte and in Croatia is in the house. Wow. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. So I, I know I'm going on. I, I need to talk a little bit slower. I feel excited just to see how people are responding. So my acknowledgement is to you, to salute you, to honor you, that yes, and we have some of the greatest minds on this planet. You are one of those minds. You have genius potential. And we've had horrible situations. This is not the first time. We've had terrible disasters and we get through it and we have resolve and we find, we figure it out. And that's what's going on now. People all over the planet working on it to with that. So I, I took some notes. I just wanted to look to make sure that I covered everything. The other day I went in to give blood. Barbara and I did, and I thought we were going to be the two, two of the few people there. And we had to go wait in the car for an extra 20 minutes, even though we had an appointment and they were packed out and they were physically distancing people around. But so many people were lining up to give blood. I thought that was so cool that, you know, we were in a public place and people were in and out and yeah, they were taking precautions, but you know, some added risk. I mean, how cool is that, that people care? So the danger is fear and anxiety. Why? Yes, we have, it's realistic. It's not irrational what's going on now, we know. But what is irrational is just like the, the catastrophizing. Oh my God, the world's coming to an end. It's, you know, it's Armageddon. And even if that were true, and it's not, and it's not accurate, it'll make things 10 times worse because it weakens the immune system and it puts us into a state
state of helplessness and hopelessness. And that is not my opinion. If it was, I would say that. That is science. The brain has primary function of protection, survival, and security number two. And if we go into survival mode, we go into protection. And when there's protection, there's no growth. Every day, cells in the body are dying and we're rebirthed, so to speak. We're reborn with healthy cells. Fact. Every day. Every day. But if we're in protection mode, it inhibits that. So nature takes care of us. Our bodies have just incredible intelligence when we don't interfere. And fear, anxiety, excessive worrying, catastrophizing, interfere. And they block that. They also block innovation, creative thoughts, intuition. And we need that more than ever now, creative, innovative thoughts, don't we? Omar, hey, hey Omar, also in Turkey. I know, yeah, it does. And uh, Croatia again. Oh, so cool, guys, so cool. Hello, hello. So the point is, guys, do whatever you can. And we're about to get ready to do the meditation. I know that's you know, our primary mission here that we wanted to do. And I want to just explain a little bit to you about it and explain to you why. I want to take our valuable time to explain it so that you optimize your results, you maximize. And it is my sincere hope that it's not just today. So, for example, next Sunday, April 12th, because of the time difference, Australia and, and, the, um, and Asia, this, the, it would be like 2, 3 in the morning for them now. I'm going to do another one with Janine Shaka, and we're inviting some of our other team in Asia. And then next Friday, Saturday, probably around this time again for me, I'll be in with Romani, with, with uh, Raiko Kuzmanovic, my brother from another mother. And we're going to do, so we're going to work on doing as many of these as we can. And so many people, hey, Sylvester, Dallas, world's greatest photographer. Better and better, Romania again. However, please do this daily. Now more than ever, three times a day, even if you just do it five minutes at a time. You'll live longer, you'll have more energy, you'll think more clearly. Because today we're all feeling, today we're all feeling a little bit, more, should I say, prematurely fatigued. Have you noticed? Because we're all almost in a, um, how can I say it? We're almost in a um, hypervigilant, not quite, but almost hypervigilant. The healthcare workers are constant in survival. They're hardly sleeping. That's a dangerous place to be in. So let's support them, send them lots of love. So back to our meditation and this global. And my fellow instructors may be doing this already, but we're pretty much in sync. We want it as a community. So long story short, Mr. Jose Silva, way back when, 1944 to 1966, he researched hypnosis, meditation, brain science. And what he basically found was, and we now know this, that one of the things that happens when we are meditating, when we're in an alpha, theta, brainwave state and we're not sleeping, and even when we are sleeping and dreaming, we bypass what some call the critical gatekeeper. We bypass the critical, conscious, logical, necessary part of us that is ruled by facts and figures and numbers and data. And we need that. It's also the logical mind, the, the, the objective thinking, the, the frontal lobe, our seat of our, our intelligence is it's like, show me the numbers, show me the, 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 the money, so to speak, within the domain of what's true today, what we know to be fact today, you know, in science. The subconscious doesn't make those distinctions. The subconscious takes things literally, and it could be your worst enemy or your best friend. So when we can consciously attune to the subconscious, it becomes, in our opinion, the silver method, an inner conscious state. And it's like opening, it's like accessing the operating system of your mind, body, and yes, spirit. And we can influence and make lasting change. And we can take those beautiful affirmations, those beautiful thoughts, those beautiful intentions, and integrate them. And now neuroscience tells us we're actually what? Creating new patterns, new neural patterns. We're firing and wiring the brain. And that takes some time and repetition. So please, please, I'm going to teach you a very simple process. 
that I've been using in my life. I've been teaching this for decades. I've taken it around the world, the principles. I've just organized some different aspects. It's simple, it's straightforward, and it works, and it's powerful. And the key is not knowing it, but doing it. So what we find is when you have conscious knowledge of what you're going to address in the subconscious, then you're more likely to optimize your results. Why? Have you noticed? If you go into a meditation, for example, let's say make believe I am, watch me, and then you start thinking, am I deep enough? Is it working? What do I do next? What's he saying? What the heck does that mean? You come right out of it and you go back into beta, the higher, excuse me, the, the waking state. So the key is to have a level of faith, of acceptance, to, to just allow it to happen. And what we find when we have four days in the silver method immersion that soon we're going back to, is we spend four full days teaching this, going deep into it, so that you know exactly what the instructor is going to teach you, talk about while in the guided meditation before we do it. And the result is people are more open, the more relaxed. Some people, no matter what, are open. I agree. And some people may not need that. But we're not looking for just those people. We're looking to reach everybody. And that's why this process, I believe, why I believe it's the most copied, most imitated process. So let's take a look at the meditation and then we'll do it. And uh, hey, Pat, uh, I got to read this. It looks like it's good. Um, Dorothy saying, I'm in the habit of putting my three fingers together and meditating while I go to my almost daily walk. Yes, nature is a perfect setting. Pat says, I'm blessed to know Silva and use it daily to protect my son, who is an EMT volunteering in Brooklyn. Uh, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I know you know that, Pat. Next stop, Chicago. Thank you, Vivian Villas, for joining me daily. Bless you all. Yes, yes, bless you all. So, uh, let me just get this. Uh, this would be on my page, on my business page. I hope it's on my business page because I see my personal up there. And if it's not, forgive me <laughs> my mistake because I set this up. But anyway, the first step, I call it a self-healing meditation. I'm not here to prescribe. I'm not your doctor to pretend to be. So let's call it spiritual healing, a mind-body principle, or anything else you want to call it. And excuse the lighting. It's not sunny and I didn't get a chance. The number first thing is you want to center yourself. So if you are a silver method practitioner, you have taught and you've been taught and have practiced the three to one method. Use that. If you have any other meditation technique you use that you're happy with and works for you, use that. Or however you center yourself. The best is to close your eyelids when we do this. Not yet, hold on. Because as soon as you close your eyelids, it's a natural way for the brain to slow down and we move naturally into the direction of, you know, slow brainwave states, direction of sleep when we're awake. And remember, it's very natural to daydream. We want that. It's very natural to to almost not hear me. I get a background. It's called indirect listening. That goes with it. If you have a niche, it's okay. If you want to open your eyes, it's okay. You know, you have full control. However, it's best to keep your eyelids closed. So I'm going to recommend, what I'm going to guide you through is, you add, as a silver practitioner, three to one method, Sarif, hi. I'm going to emphasize three slow, deep belly breaths. Inhaling very slowly through your body. However, as you do, imagine you're drawing energy, wonderful energy from Mother Earth, up through your toes, or some people do the other way, and they imagine a shower of radiant light. We'll do that later for healing. And this energy is filling everything, all the organs, muscles, tissues. Then you're going to hold it briefly and then exhale out your mouth. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And it's okay to make noise. And exhale the tensions, the stresses. Release some of the stress hormones. And imagine your body, your brain, and your mind relaxing more deeply. Yes. Second deep breath. And I'll say things to you like that. Imagine at one point releasing that which no longer serves your highest good. So that's the beginning. Then number two is, and this is something very important. The danger is if we worry too much, and it's hard not to, 
if we think excessively, we run the risk of catastrophizing. And that gets us all tense and it increases cortisol levels in the body, it increases stress levels, and it causes us to go into survival mode. So one way is to detach, and one way you can do that, excuse me, is appreciate. So feel some gratitude, some genuine gratitude for someone or something in your life, your happiness in your life. I appreciate you for being here. I appreciate you, your support. I appreciate all the shares and you telling people about this. I appreciate my wife, Barbara, making wonderful meals for us and some of the things we're doing just to support our family. You get the idea? So I'll, at that point, I ask you to do that and remain quiet in the background while you do. It helps you to get into a state of grace. It helps you to get into a state of bliss, if you will, and it affects Brain. It does. It helps put you into that state of calm, which we want. Third step would be then you want to then think of not you yet, but somebody else, some healing thoughts. And I'll guide you through this. Hey, Christine, can you think of, I cannot say, G-O-K-C-E from Izmir. I'm, I'm, I don't know if you say name. It helps to think of somebody first. If you have a health challenge, Invite people, if you're a silver practitioner, into your laboratory who have a similar health challenge and work their case, as we call it. Imagine healing thoughts. If you're not a silver practitioner, similarly, do similarly. Imagine people you care about, people in your life you care about, and imagine sending to them healing thoughts, well-being. Get the idea? And I'll guide you. And that is a way that we take the focus of attention away from ourselves. If we think too much of ourselves, we run the risk of becoming narcissistic. And if we become narcissistic, we become self-absorbed. And that is not a healing energy. I'm not going to attempt to explain all this now. Then we'll do some creative visualization. And I have some statements. So let me just double check my meditation here. I have some statements here that after some people, when you're doing healing thoughts for somebody, by the way, go back to this, if you want to use your hands as if they're there on your mental screen, or as if you have a TV screen in front of you, or as if they're in front of you, and you're imagining radiating this energy out in the universe, whoever needs it, and then we'll focus on ourselves individually. And I'll guide you, and we'll guide you, I'll guide you, excuse me, Golden saying, last night we had a telemeeting. Our graduates were asking how we can stay centered and balanced by using silver. Cool. Use this exercise. And Jean, wow, Omar, everybody. Anyway, I'll guide you. In the statements, I'll say, I'm speaking with you and for you, and you may repeat mentally after me. And basically, the statements that I'll be addressing, I just want you to be, again, conscious of it. Something effective every second, every minute, every hour, every day. I'll go slow. Every cell, tissue, organ, and system of my body is revitalized, restored, renewed. I'm able to function in harmony, physically, mentally. My awareness and using my mind allows me to do activities that promote good health, well-being. Then we'll go into, you ready for this one? Another one, and that is, statements and i'm just double checking making sure and then we're going to do imagine i've never done this you know in a um, virtually an energy circle we do them in our classes and imagine all of our community is combining our thoughts our energies if we're forming one big circle across this planet making circles around the planet of energy healing energy and you can imagine someone you're caring, care, concerned about. You can imagine your, your, your relationship. You could imagine a dear friend. You could imagine your business, this planet, the EMT people, the medical doctors, the people in the ER, the first responders, the, the, the police, the people who are delivering food to your door, anyone you know who's still out there helping us. Okay? And I'll, again, I'll comment. And then... I'll ask you questions about yourself, like what if your best self were emerging and you're truly feeling better and better? And forgive the light, I notice it's um could be better. Could be a lot better, I realize. And then when we're done, I'll make some suggestions. You'll open your eyes in excellent health, the healing. 
So that is the Sophili meditation that I'm going to add significantly. And last and not least, I'm going to put on for you some sound. And I've got a recording. Of, it's called the theta sound. And what this sound is, it's an you can't, cannot hear technically a theta sound. It's an auditory interpretation of theta that Mr. Silver created. So it's a concept. It's our concept. Frankly, it's also a repetitive. Someone just let me know. Can you hear the sound? I want it to be very quiet in the background. Can anybody in the chat just put down yes for if you hear the sound, okay? It's a repetitive, monotonous sound. It doesn't change. And I'm using this instead of music because music fluctuates. People relate to it differently. We use a lot of sounds in the class. We even use some what some call now binaural sounds in the background. Um, I don't know if you hear it or not because no one said anything. So I'll just hope that you do for the best. So let's get busy. Let's begin a meditation. Thank you again for allowing me. Thank you for saying yes, Slavia. Thank you. Good vibe. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Love you for that, guys. You guys rock. All right. So, I really want you to maximize. Hey, Bob, Barbara, Angita, everybody. Yes, yes, cool. All right, so I'm going to ignore the chat row for now and allow your eyelids to close. Nice and easy. Take your time. Let's begin our global meditation. And as you close your eyelids, again, if you're a silver practitioner, use the three to one method or whatever of the tools you're using to center yourself in a relaxed, quiet, peaceful, centered state. And let's begin with a very slow, deep belly breath. Take your time. Inhale very slowly. Imagine drawing energy in. Lots of wonderful energy from Mother Earth. Hold it briefly. Tongue on the roof of your mouth. Exhale out your mouth. Make noise. Keep exhaling. Release the stress hormones. Release some of those toxic chemistry. Just let it go. Free yourself of any tensions, allowing your body, your brain, your mind, your spirit to enter into a state of grace and ease. <clears throat> Allow another very slow, deep breath. Take your time. Inhaling very slowly. Hold it briefly. Now exhale out your mouth. Releasing that which no longer serves your highest good. Take your time. How good it feels. to progressively relax deeper and deeper. Allow another very slow, deep breath. Hold it briefly. And as you exhale, out your mouth, releasing the tensions, freeing yourself from that which no longer serves your highest good. How good it feels to progressively relax deeper and deeper. This feeling of relaxation is flowing slowly down with throughout your body as you relax your head, 
your face, your throat area internally and externally. How good it feels to progressively relax deeper and deeper. This feeling of relaxation continues to flow throughout your body as you relax your shoulders, your arms, hands, your chest area externally and internally, your abdominal area externally and internally, your back. Ah, how good it feels to progressively relax deeper and deeper. It is a wonderful, healthy state of mind and body. This feeling of relaxation continues to flow throughout your body as you relax your hips, your lower abdomen, your groin area, your thighs, knees, calves, and feet. How good it feels to be deeply relaxed. It is a wonderful, healthy state of mind and body. You may now allow yourself to feel some genuine gratitude. I mean, really emote the feeling, exaggerate it. Think of someone you're so happy is in your life. Someone who brings a smile to your face when you think of them, when you're with them. If you're physically distancing, give them a virtual hug. Imagine hugging them. Or perhaps you want to express some appreciation, just internalize it for an opportunity available to you. For example, I so appreciate you contributing your loving energy to our global meditation to help heal yourself, ourselves, our community, our nation, and ideally this planet. <coughs> Excuse me. I remain quiet now for a moment. Continue. I'll pause while you feel some gratitude, appreciation, very important. Now, begin to finish up some thoughts, feelings. You can always go back to this. <clears throat> now allow a deep breath. Inhale very slowly. And as you exhale, relax, go deeper. You may now bring to mind someone you know who needs healing energy. You can do more than one person. I will give you time. Foc and at this point in time, focus on one person at a time. If you're a Silver Method practitioner, remember your laboratory dimension. You can imagine this person with you. Or if you're here, and you have yet to experience the Silver Method, that's okay, of course. Imagine as if this person were here with you in your room. And you're imagining, well, call this person your subject. And project your 
subject in front of you. Now you can project a blue-white healing energy, a white light with a bluish tint. This is our concept. You can use any concept that you're familiar with that works for distant healing, for remote healing, for prayer healing, or perhaps you want to say a prayer for them. Whatever you resonate, whatever brings joy, whatever brings a sense of hope and optimism, where you can actually feel an energetic exchange. If you want to use your hands, use your hands. So project this healing energy onto your subject from where you know the head is all the way down to their feet. And fill the image of the body of your subject with this blue-white healing energy. I like to use my hands. I'm very kinesthetic and when I use my hands it enhances my making believe concept. It's as if I'm actually there and actually can feel a tingling, a vibration throughout my body and my hands as if I'm radiating it. Or some imagine as if you have from the a beam of light radiating from your head like a flashlight. The brain is responsive to imagery. The brain is responsive to symbology. So you're doing it as if you're actually doing it. Imagine it, something that helps you to attune to your creative imagination so that you bypass logic. And imagine every cell, every cell, tissue, organ, and system of your subject functioning in a normal, healthy, rhythmic manner. Imagine any areas of concern absorbing this blue-white healing energy and returning to health. So if you know there's an area of concern, imagine it. You can then project your subject, and remember you can do this one at a time, project your subject into the future, days, weeks ahead, months ahead. It's now December 2020. Imagine years and they're what? Continuing to be healthy, getting better and better through time, continuing to be here with us. And as time goes by, you're with them, hugging them, enjoying their company. I'll remain quiet briefly if you'd like to think of some others, you may have other people who, especially now, are a little under the weather, a little bit in a weakened state, and they can especially use some focused energy. We can do more later, and we will. Right now, allow yourself to focus in to zero in on someone you know who could use that little extra oomph. Take your time. If you find the theta sound a little loud, I've loaded it already. Lower the volume on your computer, on your phone, and that will help. You'll still hear my voice. Some people are saying the sound is perfect. <laughs> Some saying it's loud. <laughs> there are lots of people on this call. Those of you who are in the chat, I hope you're doing this and you're participating. This is not meant to be an intellectual process. This is meant to be an action, doing something. Doing it intellectually, having the knowledge, really doesn't do much good. This is the difference that makes the difference. To get yourself into a subjective state of mind and body, you're projecting these healing thoughts. Our research shows we're more likely to affect. Now, just finish up some thoughts. And remember that from now on, you may send this gift of healing energy to anyone who needs help 
and this is so. Now, allow a slow, deep breath. Imagine drawing energy in. Imagine bringing in more energy, more vitality. Reducing any of the distress that may have been accumulated in your body, freeing yourself, allowing your body to heal. And now, the following statements are for your benefit, for your better health. Keep in mind that from now on, I will occasionally be speaking in your place. So you may repeat mentally, and as you repeat this to yourself, I'll pause appropriately Imagine it as if it is happening already. Imagine this white light with a bluish tint completely circling, enveloping, surrounding your body with love. And all you need to heal and to boost your immune system. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every cell, tissue, organ and system of my body is revitalized, restored, and renewed, resulting in a perfectly healthy body, mind, and immune system. Feel it. Feel the energy completely enveloping your body like a shower and the shower is a healing light of energy completely flowing over your body from head to toes filling you with love and all you need to heal and support your immune system some people imagine a bubble of light circling them You can continue to repeat after me mentally. I am now able to function in harmony, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually to promote maximum benefits. My awareness in using my mind allows me to do activities that promote increased health physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Now imagine you in your life, your family, your friends, our group, continue to do this day in, throughout the day, day out. Anytime you think of a friend in need, a community, or someone you maybe don't know, but you know they could use some help. Like the medical people, the first responders, the people who are on the front line, so to speak, who are out there helping to keep things going. Imagine a white light of healing energy around them. Imagine you have access to energy from the group. Repeat again mentally, positive thoughts suggestions and images take precedence at any level and depth how good it feels to progressively relax deeper and deeper now allow a slow deep breath take your time How good it feels to continue to relax deeper and deeper. Now let's continue another step with our healing thoughts. And when we're together in a group, you may remember we hold hands and we imagine energy flowing from our right hand throughout to the next person, to the next person, to the next person and form the continuous flow we collect on our left so we have a continuous flow of energy. Let's do that virtually. Imagine we have people all over the world, some who have signed in or commenting, others, and imagine this energy as if it's flowing 
throughout you, out your right, excuse me, your right side, and being collected by your left. So we form a continuous field of energy. Some people you know talk about the field, that we're all part of this field, and that our thoughts and emotions. Some say it's a concept, some say it's a scientific fact. Whatever it is, let's imagine somehow, some way, our energies are forming a collective community of loving, healing energy, energy of joy, energy of empathy, energy of acceptance, free of judgment, free of anger, full of joy and vitality, and that we can access it. And continue doing this and imagine you're forming a ring of blue-white light that goes around and around, creating an energy circle. Intensify the energy so that it now begins to form a sphere of blue-white energy, blue light, blue-white light in color. And imagine you are now within this sphere of blue-white universal energy. Energy that contains health, happiness, love and abundance, peace, wisdom, success, everything you can imagine is in this blue-white universal energy. And now project yourself into the center of the sphere and imagine absorbing all the energy you need in order to continue to live the life of your design. Feel this energy flowing throughout your body, brain and mind, outside and inside, all the organs, all the muscles, all the tissues, right down to the cells themselves, being replenished, being revitalized, being supported. Use whatever symbology gets you to focus on this as if being completely encircled. How good it feels. And now you may project your loved ones into the center of the sphere. You can imagine family, friends, your loved ones, co-workers, people you care about that are most important to you in your life, people you value in your life. And imagine them receiving all the energy they need in order to heal, in order to live a healthy, happy, successful life. Take your time. Imagine them in this circle, this energy, that our global energy of love and support. Some of you have family and friends who are physicians. Today, my childhood friend Anthony, who's a physician in the New York metropolitan area, was reporting some of the statistics. It was really uh, concerning. Let's imagine energy to people like that. <clears throat> Remember, you can do this anytime, anywhere, not just now. You may also take a few moments to project your business, your place of work or projects that concern you into the center of the sphere. Some of us are, have small businesses we're working on, many of us do, to keep them afloat so we can continue to serve the people we serve. Perhaps you'd like to imagine our leaders in our respective states, nations, countries. No politics here. Imagine that they get some wisdom. Imagine that they truly step forward and help set a good positive example. Somehow, some way. Now, 
Now finally project our lovely planet Earth into the center of the sphere and allow our Mother Earth to receive and absorb all the energy she needs in order to move forward with health, happiness, harmony, and love to support all of us in a healthy, balanced way. Take your time. Now finish up your thoughts, take your time. Take your time, nice and easy. And now in a moment, I shall count you may just open your eyes and when you do say to yourself I feel healthy I am healthy say to yourself mentally I feel happy I am happy <clears throat> there's an affirmation I like to use I love and accept myself just the way I am I love people and I shall act in a loving way to support each other I count slowly to five and know that as you open your eyes, you're going to be fully awake, fully alert. One, two, coming out slowly now. Three, the count to five, may open your eyelids, be wide awake and alert, feeling fine and in excellent health, feeling much, much better than before, feeling the way you feel when you've had the right amount of healthy, revitalizing sleep. Four, five, eyelids open, wide awake and alert, <clears throat> feeling fine and in excellent health, Yes, you genius, you welcome back. Welcome back. Wow, I hope you love that. If you want to comment in here, yes, this will be is being recorded. It's automatic on Facebook Live. It'll be on my business page. Share it with family and friends. Use it more importantly. I'll send out reminders. Um, that was about wow. Ooh, a little over 20 minutes, something like that. I didn't time it, but it was at least 20 minutes. And I appreciate Rick is saying, thanks, Ken. Great to see you. Been a long time. Yes, it has been. God bless. God bless you. Please comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear. How was that? Did that work? If there's other things you'd like to hear or know of in the Facebook Lives, let me know. Got a ton of content. I'm going to start doing some master classes. I'll continue. And many of them, some of them I am going to charge, but we're going to be a fraction of the cost and anything that you want. Uh, Sabine says, I love you all. Welcome back, geniuses. Thanks. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing. So helpful, Jules. Uh, Margarita, thanks. Uh, that, thanks, Ken. As per usual, that was exactly what I needed. Michael Persky, hey, Mike, baby. Better and better. Thank you, Lucia. Or Lu Lucia, Kurta. Uh, pleasure. Keep commenting. I just want to know who's, who's receiving this. Thank you. Thank you from a heart in Serbia. Jean Clark, Ottenberger, thank you, that was amazing. Sibel, I'm not able to say your name, but thank you. Anu Verma, thanks so much, Ken. This is a great meditation. Thanks a lot, amazing. Great meditation. Thanks, thank you, thank you, lots of thank you. What was amazing about it? Be specific. Could you feel it in your body? Could you feel any energy, any shift? Gulgan, fellow instructor in Izmir, Silver instructor, she works with Aishin. And and Erhan, our silver instructor in Turkey, thanks a lot. Um, Mary, hey, Mary, it's a long time silver grad. She, 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 still single. Kenneth, boy, it's moving quick. A lot of people on. Elaine, you're down from New Jersey. So, retired silver instructor. I knew again, Rob Duchman, Rob Baby, who's helped with um, Deanna Silva write her book. Bijana, thank you from Serbia again. Anna Berg, always great. 
on, on an island right now in the Caribbean. A lot of Romanian geniuses out there. That's right, Slavia. Barbara Dunn, another long-term silver grad, goes back to the 70s. Azim Nobil, it was a great experience meditating with you better. Janet Farley, energy and peace. Sylvester Garza, fabulous meditation. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm used to being with people because when you're live with me, I work the group. I've sent energy vibes. We're all there together. So I'm just, I'm just really, really hoping that, you know, that we're um, feeling it together, feeling the love, feeling the energy. We're at a distance, but as Saski reminded us, it's just a so, it's just a physical distance. Not Mary, it was awesome, awesome again. Stefan, Judith Barto, Barati, thank you. I have my glasses on, I'm in trouble. Denise, whoa, thank you. My hands got really hot. Oh, nice. Fantastic experience. Bisma from Sanet. Bisma, shout out to you. Awesome meditation. Thank you so much. Great pleasure to attend. Thank you, Ken. This was amazing from Trish Colomer. Some of you I met in, the, in classes. I, I see your name. I get a picture. Whoa, great memories. I love doing this work. I love doing this for you. Uh, it, it's what keeps me going. This is a mission. We're in this together. Yeah, it's my career. It's how I support and have supported my family and keep things going. But you know, more importantly, it's about raising the consciousness on the planet. It's about making a difference. We need all the help we can get on this planet. And we're getting better and better. And things are changing for the better. Thank